Welcome to the coastal town of Seabreeze, where the storm clouds gather ominously over the bustling seafood festival. The air is thick with the scent of salt water and grilled fish, but today, an unsettling tension hangs over the market. Clara Delaney, our determined detective, stands at the edge, her heart racing as she recalls the chaos of the previous night. The festival, usually a place of joy and culinary delight, now feels like a stage set for something sinister. Clara's instincts lead her to the local coffee shop, a favored haunt of the festival's chefs. Inside, the clatter of cups and the low hum of conversation provide a stark contrast to the turmoil in her mind. Here, she spots Victor Lang, a rival chef, hunched over a table, his brow furrowed in concentration. As Clara approaches, she steals herself for the confrontation, knowing that every question could unravel a new thread in this tangled web of deceit and rivalry. The investigation is just beginning, and Clara is determined to uncover the truth, no matter the cost. Inside the coffee shop, Clara Delaney faces Victor Lang, a chef whose reputation is as sharp as his knives. His brow is furrowed, and his posture defensive as Clara begins her line of questioning. Victor, can I ask you a few questions about last night? She inquires, her voice steady despite the flutter in her stomach. Victor's eyes narrow, a mix of annoyance and curiosity. What do you want, Clara? I have nothing to say to you. But Clara presses on, revealing the poison spice jar found at the scene, a crucial piece of evidence that was missing from Victor's station. The tension in the room is palpable as Victor retorts. You think I had something to do with that? You're grasping at straws. Yet Clara's instincts tell her there's more to uncover. She recalls the heated argument Victor had with the victim just days before, a confrontation about the competition and alleged sabotage. As Clara notes Victor's defensive posture, she feels the weight of the evidence she is gathering. The poison spice, the secret ingredient diary yet to be uncovered, and the overlapping motives of the chefs weave a complex web. The storm outside intensifies, mirroring the brewing chaos within her investigation. As the storm outside intensifies, so does the brewing chaos within Clara Delaney's investigation. Each revelation, each piece of evidence, adds to the intricate puzzle she is determined to solve. The poison spice jar, the secret ingredient diary, and the overlapping motives of the chefs create a tapestry of deceit and rivalry. Clara's determination solidifies with every step she takes, her resolve unyielding in the face of mounting tension. She meticulously gathers evidence, employing every tool at her disposal, from forensic analysis to keen observation. The professional dynamics between the chefs, their body language, and their guarded secrets all play into Clara's deductions. Her detective work is methodical, her instincts sharp, as she navigates the stormy waters of this case. As the chapter draws to a close, Clara knows that the truth is within reach, and she will stop at nothing to uncover it. Stay tuned for more revelations and follow Storyteller for the resolution of this gripping investigation.